Are you considering water-based extraction of your cannabis plant? Well, this Tobacco University video will provide you some more details to see if this extraction process is a good fit for your situation. All right, let's go over water-based extraction of cannabis. So first off, with water-based, there's actually two main uh, extraction methods. Both are solvent-free uh, concentrate, which customers are often looking for, and there's cold water, and then there's hot water extraction. So first off, looking at the cold water or ice water extraction method, this utilizes a solventless method of extraction that submerges finely chopped cannabis plant material into freezing water. The plant is stirred in the cold water, causing the trichomes to separate off from the plant. And once the trichomes fall off the plant, it will pass through a series of screens. The end result is a product that has 50% to 70% uh, THC levels. So this is, again, something that can be very easy to do um, and doesn't require a ton of equipment. Then there is hot water extraction. So this uses pressurized hot water. You can see this kind of more equipment here. Uh, it offers the advantage of being a safer alternative to other extraction methods. If you want to learn about more of those other extraction methods here in Debaku University, you can search some of those videos. The protocols uh, developed to select against uh, THC in some conditions. The optimal conditions to extract more CBD, CBC, or CBG than THC and CBN were set at 150 degrees Celsius, 160 degrees Celsius, in 45 minutes as extraction temperature. The temperature at the collector vesicle and the extraction time, respectively. So this can show you how this method still can allow some degree of specificity. And it's much more than just taking cannabis uh, with some kind of cheesecloth and some boiling water and pouring it through. Description of this pressurized hot water method, showing a little image right here. The desired sample is placed in the cell for extraction. The cell is then heated to a predetermined temperature. The system is then filled with water and then pressurized. The sample is then kept at the exact conditions until sufficient breakdown of the solutes is achieved. So that duration of time will kind of be set by protocols. The used solvent is then let out of the cell, and the extraction solvent is forced through a system for a predetermined time known as the dynamic extraction time. The resulting sample is then rapidly cooled in ice water using a, a glass flask to prevent degradation of the extract. So here we can see the solvent system. We see the pump, the flow direction, preheating extraction cell, uh, black pressure regulator, and then collecting flask, and this would be chilled down here as part of the pressurized hot water system. Now, the what's the resulting end product? Well, the trichomes are what's removed. This is a closed loop system and will produce a thick, goopy substance ranging from a yellow to a brown coloration. Different temperatures and pressures will result in different end product consistencies. Typically, THC levels range in the 70 to 90% uh, range. The advantages of a water-based extraction method is that the elimination of additional sample cleanup, reduction in organic solvent consumption, highly selective extraction efficiency, ease of automation, and the cheap solvent, goods mainly using just water. Now lastly, there are some disadvantages with any method, and for water-based extraction, it's a relatively expensive startup cost, uh, can have long uh, residence times of extracts, which has an increased risk of phytochemical degradation. So keep those in mind, and if you don't think this is a fit, you might want to explore some of the other methods to see if one of those might be a better fit for your given situation.